I'm then asking them how they're doing. Then I'm asking them if they're enjoying the days and it's gorgeous. There's three things right there where I'm saying something and waiting on a response. I'm collecting data. What's up, everybody? Ricky Carruth here. Welcome back to another live cold calling session. I'm really excited about today. Uh, we're going to be calling with a brand new agent just a couple weeks in the business over in Orange County, California. I love calling over in Orange County, California because a lot of people, you know, that run across my stuff and, uh, you know, look at the you know, the scripts of the cold calling and, oh, Ricky, you know, people in my market are just mean. Like, I wish people were nice like that. And uh, in my market, I wish, you know, we had some people that uh, were as nice as the people down in Alabama. Uh, in this market, you know, everywhere here, everybody here in Boston, everybody here in Brooklyn, everybody here in Miami, everybody here in all these places are just mean. All of them. <laughs> Not everybody is the same exact way, man. Don't quit stereotyping your entire market um, around, you know, the fact that, you know, you you just want, I mean, I think a lot of you just want to believe that everybody's mean in your market so that you have a reason not to make calls. All right. I'm going to bring our, our agent on. Jana. Hello. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Happy to be here. Thank you for having me. Yeah. yeah, this is going to be exciting. So tell everybody how long exactly you've been selling. How many days now? Well, I made my first calls May 1st. So it's been about six, seven weeks. Uh, I don't have any transactions yet. I helped a couple of people with leases, but I haven't mm -hmm. done any uh, official transactions. So okay. okay, I'm currently at my other job still, and I'm there through the end of August. So okay. I've been getting started calling as much as I can in my spare time. And, you know, I'm looking forward to having more time to be able to call and do more. But yeah, yeah. so a couple more months there. Honestly, I wouldn't have um, expected you to do a deal at this point yet. Okay, yeah. number one. And number two, what is your current job? Uh, I work at a local university. It's called the uh, University of California, Irvine, and okay. I'm a, basically a teacher for teachers. So people who are learning to be teachers, I am uh, work with them. And so I is, it like a, is it actually like a course, like a curriculum? I, I supervise the student teachers. So when they go out into okay. the field and they're learning yeah. in the classroom, That's I go- That's what I was thinking. Teacher. Like, was it kind of a behind the scenes, you know, class? Yeah. Or I, have, I have taught courses in the past. I, I'm not currently teaching any courses. And then also my organization on campus, we contract with local school districts and I do a lot of trainings, in-person trainings with um, teachers who are in-service teachers already, you know, working. So the, I was telling you earlier, you know, the calls are hard, but it hasn't been as hard for me because I'm used to standing up in front of large groups of people. So, um, yeah. but it's still hard, even without experience, it's still yeah, can be nerve wracking. Uh, of course, you'll I, listen. You'll never get over it completely. Yeah. Uh, what got you into real estate? Well, um, some of my family members are, you know, they're just my aunt and uncle have a lot of rental properties, and it's always just kind of been a conversation around some of my family. And then um, actually inherited a couple properties that I manage with my brother and sister. So I've I've always really enjoyed it and um, been interested in the market. And I've I've been wanting to make a job change for a while, and it just. COVID kind of helps me um, get, I had extra time during COVID because my work was less busy. So I was able to take the classes and get the um, license. And then I just decided to just take the leap of faith and go for it. So um, it's nice that I've got this like four month kind of cushion between my currently still working to my other job. But um, uh, so yeah, so again, like COVID had a lot to do with it. I had the time and I really just, you know, with everything around the circumstances, I decided to just take a chance and do something I really wanted to do. So, all right, well, we're calling um, in the city of San Clemente. So San Clemente, it's the southernmost city in Orange County, borders okay. uh, San Diego County. And so Orange County sits right between LA and San Diego, basically. So uh, we're circle prospecting. Uh, it's a small house. There's a lot of small kind of old, um, old, it's an older beach town. So this is two bedroom, uh, one and a half bath. It sold for a million. 
a couple weeks mm. ago. So we're calling around there. Hold on a second. Wait a minute. What, what, how big was this place that sold for a million? 1,100 square feet. 1,100? Yeah. So that's $1,000 a foot, right? Yeah, just about 874. It was it was actually yeah. 1143 for the square footage. Got it. Yeah. Got it. And does so it have like some kind of view? No, that one doesn't have a view. It's a bit so awesome. no view. 1100 <laughs> square foot, million. No, dollars. no, the ones with the view. Uh, I like calling these smaller ones in the area. The ones with the views are we're into the three, four, five millions. You know, so yeah. uh, and a small condo like this would be upward like two, two point something, maybe high ones uh, if it had a view. Hello. Hi, my name's Jana. I'm a local real estate agent in the area. How are you doing today? Uh, good. Good. But I don't live in Irvine. Oh, you do? Oh, okay. Well, that's all right. Um, I was calling around the neighborhood in San Clemente because a home recently sold, but um, since you're in Irvine, is there anything I can do to help you real estate related? Uh, no, not at the moment. Thank you. All right. Well, if you guys were to uh, do something in the future, uh, do you have an agent that you know? Oh, hung up. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. I'll, I'll say a few things. One, I wouldn't ever say I'm calling the neighborhood. Okay. Because then that makes them feel like they're on this long list and they're just another person on this long list that you're calling. And now that, that belittles, you know, who it's like, Oh, I'm just going through the motions here. Calling the whole neighborhood. Yeah, yeah. Calling the whole neighborhood kind of thing. It's more so you want to make it feel like they're, you're calling them directly. Like you're caught giving them a call, not calling everybody in the neighborhood. Okay. Right. Cause that, then that makes them feel like they're not part of this list. That you're calling through you know what i mean it makes it feel a little more personable also okay. start out the conversation with hey mrs or mr whoever you know yeah. oh hey mr or mrs whoever yeah. this is you know jana whatever you know what i mean trust right so it says a man a man's name and then a trust so sometimes that i just well i get that then i get if it's a trust or an llc then you did it perfectly hello hello this is Braden. Hi, Brayden. My name's Jana. I'm a local real estate agent here in San Clemente. How are you doing? Hung up. Goodness. You know what? Your pitch goes up way too high, I think. Yeah? Okay. You wouldn't do that if it was your mom, right? Probably not. <laughs> your pitch goes way up. Okay. Your, your pitch. Like, talk to them like their mom. Like, oh, hey. Okay. Know, what was the name? I think Brayden. Yeah. Oh, hey, Brayden. Hey, what's up? This is Jana over at Century 21. How you doing? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Your pitch went way up and he was like, oh, God. <laughs> he was like, forwarded to an automated. He's he was like, like, uh oh, I got to get out of here quick. <laughs> All right. Ask them how they're doing. Sounds pitchy. See, see, this right here is the misconception about it. Um. You know, it's not necessarily okay. Like there's a part of it that's like what you say, but also how you say it is a much more, com you know, larger component to this. I don't know, guys. I've never had a problem with asking someone how they're doing. And what I'm, what, what happens is there's three things in the beginning. All right. Think about this. I'm saying, is this who I'm wanting to talk to? I'm then asking them how they're doing. Then I'm asking them if they're enjoying the days and it's gorgeous. There's three things right there where I'm saying something and waiting on a response. I'm collecting data. I'm listening to them and I'm hearing how they're breathing. I'm hearing how fast they're talking. I'm hearing what they're saying and I'm collecting all this data so that I can gear up for exactly how to take this conversation. I'm gearing up here. I'm listening. I'm collecting data so that I can really nail this call so i want to ask as many questions as i can that's why i have three my name is jan i'm a local real estate agent here in san clemente how are you doing today i'm well how are you i'm good thank you for asking uh, i was calling because a home near you just recently sold it was two bedroom one and a half bath and it went for one million even and i wanted to know if i could help you with anything real estate related I currently rent, so. Oh, okay. Not, well, that's all right. I don't think so. Well, if you were to um, buy something in the future, do you have an agent that you know and would work with? I do, yeah. Okay. 
All right. Well, I'd love to stay in touch to see how to second um, opinion or another person to um, work with down the road if you were to do something. Is it all right if we stay in touch? Yes, that'd be great. Okay. Jenna, I heard you're the hardest working real estate agent in California. I just might be. Can I help you? You just. Yes, this is Shane Noblin and Ricky Cruz's office. How you doing today? I'm good. How are you? You're doing your calls with him right now? Yeah. 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 Shane, can you hear me? Fantastic. All right. Well, let me get off here. You go do your thing. Okay. Can you hear me, Shane? Have a good one. Have a great day. All right, bye. I wanted to I talk. Wanted to to talk. Oh shoot! What are the chances he's calling right now? Oh, I know what happened. You got you guys. You guys couldn't hear me because it was through the computer, right? Was the phone through the computer? I'm using the phone through the computer. Yes. Yeah, I was saying, Shane, Shane, Shane. Could you not hear me? I couldn't hear you. No. Okay. See, you guys couldn't hear me. That was weird. This All right. Cool. <laughs> All right, guys. All right. This is getting interesting. Let's get back on the dialer. Yeah. My name's Jana. I'm a local real estate agent in San Clemente. How are you doing today? I'm great. How are you? Good. I appreciate you asking. Uh, I was calling because a home near you just recently sold. It was a two bedroom, uh, 1100 square feet, sold for 1 million even. And I wanted to know if I could help you with anything real estate related. Not at all. And I, and I haven't sold any property recently, so I, I don't know. I think you might be calling the wrong person, but have a great day. Bye-bye. All right, well, if you were to do something in the future, do you have an... Oh, hang up. See, I knew he was going to hang up before. You could tell by his tone he was hanging up. Like, yeah. you saw that coming, right? Yes. <laughs>